Fake technology mixed with social media is a recipe for disaster in terms of reputation management. For more, we're joined by Dr. Karen Sutherland. Great to see you. Let's talk about X Blocks, the AI system which is actually now impacting search because we're all talking about Taylor Swift this week. Yeah, there were these uh, images released that were AI generated that were explicit of Taylor Swift, complete fakes, of course. Uh, but they were seen 47 million times in 17 hours before X did anything about trying to block those images. So it, yeah, it's a real taste of you know things to come for sure with this new AI technology. And what's interesting is how quickly X were able to jump into action because Taylor Swift obviously is the biggest celebrity of our time. They knew the ramifications of what would happen if they allowed these images to, to go on for too long. Yeah, 17 hours does seem like a, a long time, but in the whole scope of things, it, it, I guess it really isn't to actually identify the source and, and, and the images and try to block them particularly. Uh, however, it just, it just brings to light these sort of issues around AI mixed with social media, it's just really hard to actually identify and capture these sorts of images before they just go through the mainstream and so many millions of people actually see them. What does it say about content generation, the threat of AI, but also the fact that obviously these platforms like X are trying to take things seriously, despite the fact that moderation rules have changed and that Elon Musk has fired so many of the people at Twitter who used to be on top of this sort of thing? Yeah, so social media platforms are really going to have to try and get a handle on what is going on and trying to crack down on this type of content because it's just going to get worse. But again, it's like when social media platforms and governments try to instill regulations on any sort of content, it's really difficult, it's really challenging and there is no real black and white answer to make it actually happen. So I, as we've discussed, there are governments around the world and people working AI technology are trying to do the right thing, but is it already a case of the horses bolted? Yeah, if you try and put anything political or anything which is concerning to AI into one of these uh, image generators, it will come back and say no straight away. So I always wonder how on earth they are able to do it. Yeah, maybe they are creating their own tools. That's the thing. There, there are so many tools out there. I'm not sure if you saw a couple of weeks ago, Brian Solis uh, released what he calls the AI prism. And there, there, was, there were hundreds and hundreds of AI tools on there. So really, if people have that sort of um, experience and that they can actually create their own tool, then the mainstream ones aren't going to do anything. So how do you regulate it then? We talk about AI deepfakes coming about because of a lack of regulation. But as you say, the United States can regulate certain things if it wants to. But if someone in Russia or China, just the same people that we accuse of hacking, decide to create their own tools that can create AI deepfakes, just as governments struggle to deal with hacking, how would regulation assist with preventing this? That's a, big, that's a great question. I wish I had an answer for that. But yeah, it's really hard to, to know. And can legislation ever keep on top of the, the technological evolution? That is the question. And I think it never has been able to in the past, which is scary. We look at society, right? So the way that the Taylor Swift fans, Swifties responded to the AI deepfakes of her going around uh, last week was to flood the internet. So if anyone searched, I saw Taylor Swift uh, trending and clicked on it, but never saw any of the images on X or Twitter. What I saw was a bunch of her fans essentially throwing up camouflage and a whole bunch of noise to prevent that if there were those images, you'd never see them because there was so much content. That's fine for Taylor Swift, right? She's got all the fans, but if you or I get targeted, we've got a couple of friends who might help out, but we'd be relying on the system to prevent it. And we no doubt will be left asking, how could this happen? Oh, absolutely. And would the AI platform, I mean, social media platforms actually do anything anyway, because we're not Taylor Swift. Do they sort of grade in, in importance of the person? It's, yeah, there's so many unanswered questions about what, what could actually happen to prevent it or stop it from traveling further. You'd think it'd be defamation, right? You'd think that what this would be is you have defamed me by creating an image, which is the same as gossiping about someone publicly and accusing someone of something they haven't done. Surely a deep fake would fall into defamation. You would think so. I guess then it would be a matter of actually trying to find the original creator of that deep fake and maybe that's not so easy. It sounds like one that we'll be talking about over and over. Dr Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine Coast, as always, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.